What's up, it's Deeper from Deeper Gaming. Welcome to a best of three series between Lynn and JN, and uh, this is from the AWC. I'm not sure what it stands for, but uh, yeah, from the AWC, uh, they're playing on the map Ancient Isles 2, and uh, so we have uh, Lynn spawning at the top left of Ancient Isles, and let's go to observer point of view. And uh, anyways, we have JN spawning at the bottom right. So uh, JN going for the standard human, human opening, going for the Altar King's farm. Looks like he's going to get this barracks up, yep. And uh, meanwhile, we do have Lynn going for your standard orc as well. Uh, most likely going to put a barracks up here or here uh, anytime soon once he gets out that peon. And uh, Ancient Isles, a uh, very familiar map. Of, a lot of the pros have been playing here. Uh, this map is not played on Bnet, but uh, for the most part, it is played on... Uh, in most big tournaments, and uh, I'm not sure. I don't think they play on it in the Zotec Nut Cup. No, I think they do. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they do play it on the Zotec Cup. But a uh, pretty, uh, pretty good map for human for uh, human expo. But uh, let's see if Jane's gonna do that. Uh, the two expansion points. There's only two expansion points on here, but they are pretty easy to uh, take down early game with some militia aid. Uh, so JN most likely is gonna go for the uh, standard arc mage. I'm uh, guessing. Yep, he's gonna go for the standard arc mage. Going for the uh, common human base block as well. Uh, gonna get a footman, and uh, depending on if he techs or not, that will tell us if he is going for an expansion or just a T2 push. And if he goes T2, he's most likely gonna try to tower push the orc because this is also a pretty good uh, map to tower push early on with T2, maybe with a, um, you could go Mountain King or you could go like Beastmaster or something, try to get mass summons and over, uh, overpower him. Uh, so we have Lin going for the standard Blade Master as well, getting out his barracks, actually delaying his second uh, burrow uh, for an earlier Voodoo Lounge. Uh, some orcs like to like, uh, they like to put the Voodoo Lounge a little bit uh, closer to their creep routes, uh, just so they don't have to walk away, but I guess Lin, uh, uh, basically put it up early enough so he doesn't have to do that because uh, it looks like the Voodoo Lounge is going to finish uh, right before the Blade Master gets out or the Blade Master, it's going to be a few seconds uh, late. Uh, so we have the Archmage finally out for uh, Jan. Now Jan's going to get the Moshe involved and go for this um, Ogre Magi. Yes, I pronounced that right, thank you. And uh, so he's going to go for the Ogre Magi creep camp. i got to get a decent item over here. Doesn't really need to bring too many Moshe, but I th ooh, he's actually bringing five. Uh, I guess that's a common way, yeah, whatever. But, um, yeah, I don't think you really need to use too much because this water mantle does tank a lot. Uh, you will take a little bit of damage on uh, some of your units, but not too bad. Uh, meanwhile, we have Lin uh, going for the standard orc route, it looks like. Uh, as you see here, now he's going to have to run back to his base, but he doesn't have to now uh, just because uh, he built that voodoo lounge early. If he didn't build it early, he would have to run back to his base. But uh, I guess if orc players don't want to build the voodoo lounge early, they just go for, um, uh, they will build the voodoo lounge a little bit farther out just so they don't have to run back farther. Well, looks like this uh, ground is going to have to be back. selved up. He's going to sell up his blade, though, as uh, while wow, he's finishing off this no overseer. I'm uh, going to pick up a ring of protection. Uh, most likely, got to sell that uh, just for some extra cash. Uh, meanwhile, we have JN going for a easy creep camp on these little knolls. I'm uh, going to pick up level 2 as well. Picked up gloves of haste, so that's always not too shabby on the arc mage. Always, uh, it's always nice to have additional attack speed on any of your heroes. Looks like uh, this blade master is going to try to take down this waterman, so let's see if a footman can try to deny this. Uh, one more hit. No, he's going to windwalk it and picks up level 2 on that blade master and blade master doesn't have a boots of speed yet i think boots of speed just appeared in the shop when it turns night time uh he did pick up that circle of no nobility though did sell the ring as well uh, we are having attack coming for Jan, so this is definitely going to be uh, not a quick expansion just because he's starting to attack. And uh, most likely going to be a T2 push and uh, only uh, three Players footmen sports. as well. Meanwhile, we have uh, uh, Lin going for a kind of a risky creep route right here. But I guess as a human player, they can't really, uh, they don't really have a creep jacking unit. Uh, Archmage is really not a uh, hero uh, to creep jack with. Uh, you'd have to go Mountain King to creep jack, or uh, yeah, that's why Blade Master is so good because it can go invisible. It looks like we're trying to get some blocking here by Lin. Uh, this footman will not fall though just because the blade master is a little bit slow does not have that boots of speed yet uh he may be able to catch it up he's gonna use wind walk no he doesn't even have to uh just got a critical strike on it and uh, now blade master and uh his grunts are gonna finish off this uh no overs here meanwhile we have uh, jn coming in uh doing the standard uh human um human harass here uh trying to uh, cancel that barrel and most likely when he gets to t2 he's probably gonna go uh, a hero along the lines as a Beastmaster, that would be probably the uh, smartest choice, and uh, once he does that, he's going to probably come in here and try to uh, 
uh, get some burrows as well as cancel the spirit lodge or be sure if he has uh, the, ch the, ch uh, the chance or time to. So uh, we have this one grunt coming over here for Lynn. Gonna take a little bit of damage. Uh, and uh, grunts are pretty strong though. Don't take too much damage from footmen. Uh, meanwhile, we have the uh, blade master coming back in. Did pick up that boost of speed, so he uh, will be able to chase down these footmen now uh, with ease. And uh, it looks like he's gonna do that. Uh, and uh, does have that critical strike level two. Uh, he will pick up level 3 pretty soon, though, if he is able to uh, pick off a few units. Uh, meanwhile, we do have Jan's Blade Ma uh, excuse me, Archmage, did pick up Boots of Speed as well, so he's going to be able to have uh, additional movement speed and will be able to do uh, some nice harassing uh, back and forth inside and outside the base. So, anyways, JN going to put down those two Arcane Sanctums, and uh, let's see if he's going to, he's going for the Mountain King, actually. So, he's actually going a very, very solid um, standard human, so uh, it's definitely going to be a push most likely uh, I mean it, it most likely when you go mountain king it's gonna be a push just because you got that bolt and you can uh, do some severe focusing uh, with some of those breakers you know with the feedback uh, all the mana will be drained as well as the uh, the storm bolt of the stun will uh, do a lot of damage so anyways we do have the blade master running back in his base did pick up uh, the XP off of these grunts they did uh, take out that little green spot and he does pick up level 3 so he would be able to do a lot of scouting here with his blade master uh, with that level uh, 2 wind walk uh, you know extra movement speed uh, meanwhile we do have the uh, the the arcane vault actually being power built by two peasants Mount King should be out anytime now uh, anytime soon yeah uh, let's see if he's gonna do a little bit of shopping most likely yep it is gonna be a tower push he's getting some ivory towers and uh pretty soon we should see some uh, militia being brought up here and uh, let's see we do have the sorcerers coming out and most likely we will have um the peasants are about to be militia anytime soon we do have this water elemental uh, a little bit out of place here maybe just doing a little bit of scouting uh, the blade master is going to try to get a crit on this archmage maybe uh no he's probably going to go for this uh sorcerer that's probably the best idea let's see if he's going to do that right now and it doesn't look like he's going to do it. he's going to go for a, a uh, i'm not sure what he's going to do right here but is just doing a little bit of scouting and definitely going to try to uh fight this right here doesn't want these towers to get up and uh, yeah he's going to go for the archmage actually so archmage really needs to be careful actually past the boots the uh, mount king so he needs to be careful here did cast the slow on the the um, the Blade Master and Blade Master does have enough mana to win walk if he is in trouble. Uh, meanwhile, the uh, Mount King still has enough bolts, uh, enough mana, excuse me, four tumor bolts. Uh, while he was uh, causing a little bit of havoc over here, uh, Lin's grunts were able to take down those two towers, so that's always nice. And uh, these peasants will, uh, or these, this militia will war, uh, wear out any second now, and they do. And uh, needs to be careful, he does have the Shadow Hunter out as well. But uh, as long as that Blade Master is slowed, uh, he should be fine, and that's uh, basically what he's doing at this point. But uh, Blade Master needs to uh, save up some mana so he can get uh, a initiation wind walk and then a uh, escapability wind walk. So we do have a grunt, uh, excuse me, a raider out, and as well as a spirit walker. So uh, actually, um, I'm surprised that um, JN definitely didn't. Uh, didn't cancel the uh, bestiary or the spirit lodge usually as human players you you do that and uh, I guess he didn't in this situation it's just putting up a weird uh, tower over here not sure why I didn't build it closer to the base maybe he just didn't feel confident with his position actually he did build a farm out here as well and it uh, looks like he's trying to move in slowly but surely uh, with these towers and maybe he's just trying to uh, basically wall off one side and uh, we have a uh, uh, Lin coming up, sneaking up from the behind, and uh, now he's going to be able to uh, take down a few of these peasants. Actually trying to take down this arcane tower, and he's using speed scroll. This one raider will be able to get out. Uh, doesn't have a uh, dispel on his spirit walkers. So he only has a uh, spirit link right now, and he actually did get a few peons just to help uh, do some additional tanking, and actually was doing a very nice job focusing down the archmage. And archmage doesn't have any escapability, and he was surrounded, so he just TP'd instead. So uh, we do have JN. It looks like he's going to move out once again. Uh, needs to pick up a potion of immobility or something from that shop. That would be very, very helpful. Uh, just uh, re uh, militia his uh, peasants and they're going to head out. Most likely, maybe he's going to go for an expansion or maybe he's going to go for this red camp at attack. this goblin laboratory. Uh, probably a smart, uh, smart idea. As well as Lin, he knows that uh, he just tp He knows that JN just tp so he's going to go for his red as well. Uh, we'll pick up a pretty nice item on re uh, reincarnation. That's going to be pretty nice. And uh, Blade Master doing a little bit of scouting. Make sure he's not going for an expansion of some sort and uh, does have that spear link so if he does get in a little bit of trouble uh, that spear link will aid him uh, does have a enough wind walk to get an escape one as well but uh, no breakers coming for uh, JN right now just sorcerers priest and it looks like he, this priest will uh, be taken out uh, a few more hits will do it does have the boost of speed so he will be able to chase it down sorcerers coming in with a slow but blade master is not able to take down that priest and he will heal himself up to survive another day uh, we oh, do have the uh, mount king uh, does pick up level 2 so he will have some additional bashes and uh, also does pick up a wand of the wind so that's 
that's always nice. But uh, one of them will be able to be dispelled uh, by the Spirit Walkers. They did get uh, Adapt Training uh, Level 1, so he will have that uh, dispel uh, uh, in towards the fight. Shadow Hunter needs to be careful, sitting at 27 HP, and uh, that Spirit Link saving him a lot. Shoot, sitting at 16 HP, uh, one unit. If he didn't have the spear link, it would definitely would have fall. Does have the Ankh though, so not really too worried about it actually. Uh, Mount King uh, trying to get the level three. Uh, I'm not, sh I'm not sure if he wants to sell this wine of the wind. I think it would be a good idea if he sold it. Uh, did pick up the potion of lesser invisibility over here as well. So uh, Lynn knows this. His blade master scouting us. Uh, picked up the scroll of the healing and uh, does have a scroll of speed on his blade as well. And I will check out the base of Jan. Jan sitting at 47 food. Uh, is starting to make a breaker uh, a little bit late, making one right now. We do have a Kodo coming in for Lin. Lin's sitting at 50 food. Um, maybe he's going to wait up until... I was watching one of Grubby's commentaries lately, and he said it would be good for an Orc player to stay at 50 until about 1,800 gold. That's the uh, ideal time to uh, start pumping out over uh, over uh, 50 food. <coughs> or was that over 60 food? I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, we have level 3 Shadow Hunter. So Shadow Hunter is going to have nice Shadow nice heals. And he also did pick up a Scourge of Bone Trance. That's going to be good for all his melee units. And uh, Blade Master is coming in here, getting uh, picking off some of these uh, casters. The Storcher uh, did cast a slow on him. And this feedback coming for the Spellbreaker. Blade Master needs to be careful. Can't afford to lose too much mana. There's another slow being cast and probably will moonwalk in just a second. Maybe he's going to try to take down uh, that Sorcerer. But it will be able to uh, sneak through this little crevice and uh, run in back, um, run to the back of his base. So the Mount King, us uh, edging towards that level 3, is going to use the reveal to try to spot that Blade Master, but it's going to be a little bit too late. Blade Master got out of there with that one walk uh, just too fast. And uh, Shadow Hunter does pick up some nice items. He did pick up a TP and a Potion of Lesser Invability. Also picked up a Ward and did pick up a Ring of Regeneration from uh, that expansion crease spot. And uh, now he's going to heal up his Blade Master. Blade Master is going to be uh, re, um, re Spirit Linked and going to head out and uh, actually pass the Ankh to his Blade Master so Blade Master can be a little bit more uh, risky in this in any situation situation now. Uh, Archmage is uh, sitting with only a TP, and uh, Jan definitely looks like he's kind of struggling in this game, uh, not looking to his full potential, so Jan definitely looks like he has a little bit more map control. Looks like we're having some, ooh, I thought it was militia, just a lot, a lot of casters, a lot of a lot of slow coming involved, so uh, Lin's going to have to try to get a lot of good slows, cast, uh, excuse me, dispels uh, from those spear walkers. Let's see how many spear walkers he has. Uh, he has only two, so he's going to have to use those very, very wisely. Uh, Blade Master coming over here, maybe just waiting for a caster to arrive from these arcane sanctums and maybe to try to take it down but um jn kind of lost hasn't seen uh, hasn't seen uh lynn's army for quite some time so maybe he's gonna go for a hit uh is trying to stack that uh trying to stack that mk uh did use actually picked up a dust and used the dust uh felt a blade master but there was no blade master to be found and uh, meanwhile we do have the creeping coming for lynn once again and most likely will pick up level four on the shadow hunter after killing the snow overseer and let's see if he's gonna he's either gonna get it or it's gonna be really really close actually did pick it up so he will have that level two hex so uh there should be some very very uh nice hero focusing so the arc needs to be careful if he gets uh, below uh 50 hp uh one hex will do it and the blade master will be to take it down with ease unless the of course the uh, it is countered by a storm bolt uh, to help that arc may survive another day another dust of appearance coming here and it looks like we are getting some well, militia possibly no militia Town coming so he's just gonna go for a tower push with some towers no i'm not sure what he's doing here he's actually towering off the middle so maybe just trying to get uh the middle of the map um not sure what Jan here is doing here. He is uh, doing a very, very interesting strategy of uh, putting uh, the uh, towers in the middle. I, I was surprised that he put the towers over here at the beginning of the game as well. So maybe he's just going for a little bit more map control strategy than actually a tower push strategy. So he actually did have his uh, Mount King uh, casted invisibility. So he upgraded those sorcerers with uh, one adept. And uh, now he's going to be able to uh, have the Mount King invisible. So it's not focused right away. But uh, Lydon definitely uh, in the um, advantage of the hero level. So as a share hunter sitting level 4 and blade uh, sitting at almost level 4 so after it picks up a few more units he will uh, be able to uh, get that additional uh, critical strike uh uh, percentage. So now he's going to head out with that uh, Mount King leading the pack, but it is invisible, so uh, Lin won't see it. Uh, he is going to see the army right here, see if uh, Jan wants to engage, and a lot of Spirit Link being casted, but that uh, those breakers will be able to uh, take it and put it on their own units, and uh, Lin uh, sitting at only uh, 100 uh, mana on that Blade Master, so probably not going to use it uh, to 
scout because he really needs to keep it. Here's a scout from him coming involved here, and uh, he's going to stay uh, near Lin's army to make sure he's not doing anything too tricky. But actually, we have an expansion coming up for Lin. He didn't uh, use the one from the voodoo shop. He just uh, built it manually with a peon. And uh, anyways, he does have these towers up in the middle of the map, so not too sure what he's doing here. We do have a peon scout coming for Lin over on the right side expansion as well. But Jan doing a very interesting strategy. I'm not even sure what he's doing at this point. Just putting these towers in the middle of the map. Uh, the longer he waits, it's probably not that good because this map is completely out uh, creeped. It's um, All the creeps are gone. So uh, basically, uh, they are going to have to fight anytime soon now. This fight, this big fight should come soon. Uh, they haven't really had a big fight um, all game. So this will probably be the fight of the game. Actually putting some towers out here. Uh, maybe just to give a little bit more better positioning. Uh, because all the all Jan's units, uh, even though breakers, are technically, I guess you could say, melee units. Because their range is so small. But uh, they are all ranged units. And there's a Stormbolt on the Blade Master, as I said. Uh, that feedback doing a lot of damage and uh, not really damage uh, it's taking all that mana away no more mana you just use the wind walk and uh, won't have enough mana for another wind walk as well as you see here, this tower just giving better position uh, for uh, those casters here and casters moving back closer to those towers towards the middle uh, blade master trying to focus down that mountain King. mountain King doesn't have uh, ability pop his potion and ability blade master still has an onk and a uh, lesser potion and ability and uh, trying to get to all these towers in the middle and see if J uh, Lin wants to fight this here kind of bad position and it looks like he wants to back up uh, maybe just trying to get better, better position here and he is gonna try to re re uh <coughs> recast that spirit link unless he doesn't want to blade still needs to be careful he needs to probably pop that potion there we go if you got an unlucky bash that would have been pretty bad and uh now there is an ensnare on that mountain king and that mountain king is going to be uh invisible but he is still ensnared so very nice play there by lin a uh, mountain king was about to get away but ensnared it once again and uh, you can see invisible units when they are ensnared so that was a very nice play by lin taking that mountain king it looks like he's just gonna go for the base now and uh basically uh, no towers at the jan's base and not too much jan can do at this point jan can't take this or army head on without those towers in the middle and it looks like it's going to be GG here. He's going to be able to run in here and uh, take down a lot of these buildings and he's going for this uh, altar of kings uh, with these raiders and raiders doing very nice siege damage here. Actually we got the caster army coming back in for Jan. Most likely going to use some of his peasants as well for some uh, militia but he only has five over here so most likely not. Trying to take down the altar king so mountain king cannot get back involved and most likely this will be game. Uh, even if uh, Lin does manage to lose a few things he already did too much damage on the base of Jan and Jan calls GG. So if you guys enjoyed game one and uh, he's already calling AI for game two and uh, should be a pretty nice game and uh, yeah whoops didn't mean to click that and peace out.